Hello and welcome to the online training module for Signal Switch Solutions. In this presentation, I will offer two types of training. What are the various signal switches? And product training for some of our products in the Performance Signal Switches group here in TI. In this presentation, we will talk about analog and audio switches, USB switches, video and LAN switches. This slide shows a generic block system diagram. It is important to understand that there is a dedicated signal chain here for a specific signal type. All functions in the signal chain are carried between the processor and the peripherals via interfaces. Signals can be categorized as multimedia such as audio or video. Audio signals can be sounds in a loudspeaker or a headphone and video signals can be analog such as VGA or digital such as HDMI. Data can be categorized to the USB type. All TI switches have specific applications. The key purpose of any switch is to switch on or switch off a signal that is being carried, source a signal to multiple destinations as shown here, connect multiple sources to a single destination as shown here in this direction from right to left. This is needed for each type of signal chain. For example, routing an audio signal from a codec to a loudspeaker or headphone as shown here or to mute all sound. Similar principles apply to USB, LAN, and other switches described in this slide. In addition to these basic functions, we offer specialized devices that integrate advanced functionality, such as headset type detection and battery charge detection shown in this slide. We will talk about this in more detail later. The naming convention for TI switches is very simple. The TS indicates a TI switch. The V indicates the maximum operating voltage. This could be 3, 5, 12 volts or something else. The A represents the switch type. Capital A could mean analog. Capital V could be video. DS a differential switch. L for LAN and USB for USB switches. The four X's later on represent the part number and the three P's represent the package code. The lowercase r represents the real type. However, a large r represents a large reel and a capital T represents a 250 piece reel or two. Now we will discuss analog and audio switches. So what is an analog switch? An ideal analog switch passes any input to the output without any distortion. And it has infinite bandwidth. As shown here, the input signal will pass to the output. Switches, however, always have some losses. Today's competitive environment creates constant need for high performance. One common method to optimize system performance is to use FET switches. TI signal product family consists of analog, digital, and specialty switches. These switches provide high performance and low power replacements for standard bus interface devices when signal buffering is not required. TI's analog switches are available in wide range of voltages, starting as low as 0.8 volts to as high as 12 volts. TI switches offer low resistance and low input capacitance for decreased signal distortion and insertion loss. TI's analog switch portfolio spans a wide range of voltages and offers various configurations such as single pole, single throw, single pole double throw, single pole triple throw, and single pole quad throw. Also, 
available in various channel counts ranging from 1 to 12 channels. For example, a single pull single throw is available in 1, 2, 4, and many more channels. As discussed earlier, an audio switch has capability to mute the audio signal or to select a speaker. The TS5A23159 is a single pole double throw analog switch that is designed to operate from 1.65 to 5.5 volts. The device offers a low on state resistance, excellent on resistance, matching with the break before make feature to prevent signal distortion when transferring signal from one channel to another. The device also has an excellent total harmonic distortion performance and consumes very low power. Audio headsets have three prong as shown here or four prong connectors depending on whether they have a built-in microphone or not. Among the four prong connectors there are two competing standards that have different band configurations with the ground and mic pins reversed as shown here. TI offers two audio jack switches namely TS3A26746E and TS3A225E that allow the system designer to support all of the above headset configurations. The TS3A225E performs detection of the headset in addition to switching the ground and mic pins from the connector to the appropriate system signals. The TS3A26746E only provides the capability to switch the ground and mic signals which means the headset type detection is performed elsewhere either in an audio codec or an audio amp or a PMU. This also means that any headset can be used with a customer's mobile device that contains these TI switches. And now we will discuss USB switches. In cell phones, a baseband processor and an apps processor need to transmit data via the same USB port. A USB switch is required to route this data properly. For example, as shown, the baseband processor and the apps processor talk on the same line. Based on the control logic, the USB switch will connect to a baseband processor or the apps processor. The TS3 USB 221 is a high bandwidth switch specially designed for switching of high speed USB 2.0 signals in handset and consumer applications such as cell phones, digital cameras, and notebooks with limited USB IOs. The wide bandwidth of approximately 1.1 gigahertz of the switch allows signals to pass with minimum edge and phase distortion. The device multiplexes differential outputs from a USB host device to one of the corresponding outputs. The switch is bidirectional and offers little or no attenuation of high-speed signals at the outputs. It is designed for low bit-to-bit -bit skew and high channel-to-channel -channel noise isolation and is compatible with various standards such as high-speed USB 2.0. TI offers a variety of USB switches. For example, the USB 221 offers high bandwidth and the USB 30 offers good ESC protection. The micro USB connector supports audio accessories in addition to USB data. In order to support audio accessories via the micro USB port, the USB switch is required to route audio and 
USB data, for which the TS5 USB-A224 and the TS3 USB-A225 make an excellent choice. These USB switches have low R on and can be used to pass audio signals as well. As shown in the diagram, on the right, these USB switches connect the D plus and D minus pins to the left and right channels of the audio codec when an audio signal is connected, when an audio accessory is connected. The same switches connect these pins to the differential data lines of the USB transceiver when a USB data cable is connected. This is controlled via the control logic. TI's common USB switches are listed in the table below and the TS3 USB-A225 has excellent high bandwidth. In addition to audio and USB data, the micro USB port supports other accessories such as chargers and debug and test cables. The micro USB switch is a special kind of USB switch that allows portable electronic devices to use a single USB port to connect to a number of different devices. The micro USB switch detects the kind of accessory plugged in by performing impedance detection. It can connect the accessory to a charging circuit that will charge a battery, as shown here, a USB circuit that will pass USB data, and an audio circuit which will play music to external headphones or speakers. TI offers a variety of micro USB switches that all perform impedance-based accessory detection. In addition, each of these devices have a switch matrix that determines what types of accessories will be supported over the micro USB port. For example, the TSU-6111 only supports USB and UART functionality. The TSU-5511 and the TSU-5611 both support USB, UART, and audio functionalities. However, the TSU-6712 allows for USB, UART, audio, video, OTG, OVP, and charging functionality. And now we move on to video and LAN switches. Some computing applications require that a video signal be transmitted to an external device via a docking station. Those video sources can either be analog or digital and require analog and digital video switches respectively. For example, here analog video signals such as VGA, S-Video or audio signals are muxed to VGA, S-Video or audio out connectors on the laptop or to a docking station. The red line here represents a docking station. Digital video signals are also muxed via a digital switch to a display port or a docking station connector. Analog video signals require analog switches like the TS-3V712 or the TS-3V713 to properly route these signals to a VGA connector in the laptop or to a docking station. High bandwidth of approximately 1.3 gigahertz of these analog video switches ensures signal integrity of video data lines. These switches have an integrated level shifter and buffer, so no external ones are required. Likewise, these switches also have integrated ESD protection, hence no external ESD protection is required. Digital video interfaces use differential signaling as shown here. 
These require specialized switches like the TS3DV621 to properly route these signals with minimum degradation. These digital video switches are used to support an external display port or an external HDMI connector or a docking station. In computing applications, there is a requirement to connect to local area networks via docking stations. LAN switches like the TS3L501E properly route these signals to a LAN port in the laptop or to a LAN port in a docking station. High bandwidth and low capacitance ensures good signal integrity. This switch will eliminate need for an external ESD. Also, this switch has integrated power down features which reduce current consumption and hence save power. This concludes our online training module for signal switches. For more information about our switch portfolio, please visit www.ti.com switches. Thank you.